G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today I am doing the Crushed Ice Effect by the lovely Petra. Hi Petra! And the lovely Nicole. Hi Nicole! <laughs> um, she put up a recipe in, uh, in my little group and uh, I'm going to try it. So hopefully she doesn't mind. Her recipe was for a mould that held 160 grams. I'm using my new quartz geode mould. This, uh, I think this holds more like about 200 grams. So I've just kind of jiggled it a little bit. Right, now, I have bought myself some little baby scales. It says hello. <laughs> uh, now, I'm hoping I can measure one gram. Oh, it's not going to do anything until I put it on. Okay, so I have got some resin in here. I am Today I'm using the Transparente resin from Resin Pro. It's uh, 100 grams to 60 grams. So I mixed up 125 grams of A, 75 grams of B, and I've got 200 grams. And I've put, put some in there, mm, 55 grams, I think, in there, plus the cup weight. T for tear, I guess that's it. Now, into this one, I'm going to put my enoki, and I want uh, one gram. Or maybe 1.1 somewhere between 1 and 1.1 so I've never used a tiny little scale like this I always use my um, my big one but it only goes up in you know one gram increments and I need it to be a little bit more sensitive so I bought this one just from eBay make sure you shake your enoki really really well because when I um, when I got it it had white up to about there and then the rest of it was just alcohol so make sure that you shake it shake it shake it all right, so here we go. I am going to try for. I'm going to try for 1.1 gram. Okay, here we go. Hopefully. Oh, ah, that was quick. I've got 1.9 grams. I guess I didn't have to give it such a big squirt. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right, lesson learned. Go slowly. Okay, we've got 1.9 grams. That's like enough for two. I think. 1.9 grams it is yep it is okay all right we'll just uh, move that out of the way I guess we're going with 1.9 grams I could take actually what about if I take some out and put a little bit more clear in there and just don't fill it up so much. How about if I do that? I could. Um, so basically, um, I'm going to try and work this out. So I need like half. I really need about half of what I've got in there. So. So if I put about 30 in here, and then add another, twenty or so, take a little bit out of each of those. All right, and then I'll just leave that off to the side. It should be, it should be the um, one gram of enoki to 50 grams of resin, hopefully. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I stuffed it up. One gram's not very much, is it? Okay, so we're gonna squeeze next time. We're gonna squeeze lightly to get one gram, but look, this is my first time attempting this, so it's okay. Live and learn. I always, I always say to you guys, do as I say, not as I do. All right, we're going with teal. It's a fluid, uh, octopus fluids, resin ink. Teal. And I'm going to do about oh, nine drops or so. Make sure you open it away from your resin because of all the crusty bits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go with nine of those. Oh, all the little dry bits are falling off. And then the jeans. 
um, just in my little push at the end and I'm going to do two of those probably I have got more like <laughs> 160 actually probably got about 180 because I put 20 grams in there of my my clear it's a pretty thin resin the transparente which is good because my quartz mold here has got lots of little something in there lots of little um, crystally edges so I, I think I'm gonna actually spray some alcohol in there first Make sure I stir these up really well. Who doesn't love blues and teals? We're just drawn to those colours, aren't we? Watercolours. I think as humans, we're just drawn to the water. I am, anyway. Love the watery, cool, relaxing colours. Maybe that's just it. All right, those are stirred really well. Right, I just went and shut the door quickly so that we've got no noise from any dogs. Right, let's move these things out of the way. Um, I'm not going to spray it with any alcohol. Decided against that because it might change the design. So I'm just going to pour the white in. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll just pour it in on the stick. I'm going to try and prevent those those bubbles that we get, you know, on the um, the base. You turn it over, and there's usually bubbles. Try not to get them. It's a very thin resin, so hopefully, hopefully I won't. Just be gentle with my white. Okay. And then I'll just give it a bit of a tap, tap, tap. Try and get any bubbles coming to the surface if there are any. Can't see any, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Okay, and then the next one is the dark. There's a hair. Did that just fly in there then? I'll do the same with this. I'm just going to, oh well, just pour it in. It's closing already. How pretty does that look? Looks like a, a cloud moving in. Let's clean my stick. I use I reuse all my, my sticks, so clean that off. Alright, now the light blue, although it's quite dark, isn't it? <laughs> And that'll do. Don't have to scrape that out. Clean that stick. Okay. Now, quickly, oh, quickly before it closes up, just put some little silver cracks in the center. Silver stones. Don't need too many. Yep, <laughs> they're floating. Get down. A bit hard to see exactly where they've gone. Mm, no, I can't see. Um, what I can do, and I'm just going to do it real quick. I'm just going to drop, I'm going to drop a um, drop of alcohol just in the centre there, so that I can see what's going on. I don't think it'll affect anything. I just want to see where my my stones are at the moment. Yep, that'll do. A little tip for you guys. Another little tip. Okay. Now it'll it'll close over. It's good to know that you can just put one drop of alcohol in and it'll hit and just open up, um, just so that you can see you know what's going on in there. little torch okay um, and that that's it let's put you on a time lapse and see what happens
Right, it has cured. It's still hot. <laughs> I've just taken it out of my uh, food dehydrator because it is 8.45 p.m. And um, I want to have a look at it before I have to go to bed later tonight. So I uh, still got a little bit of room there. I could have put a little bit more in. It's not quite full. So it can probably take maybe 220 grams let's see if we can get it out now there's lots of little crystally edges in this mold so I'll just take my time I've got quite a lot of white on the back here so I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing I don't know a couple of little areas that are still really soft because they're very very shallow Now, when I take this mold, this piece out of the mold, you'll see how different it is from my other molds. So I'm very excited to see what it's going to look like. First pour in my new mold. It uh, it looks the same, doesn't it? it looks similar, but um, it is different. It is a bit different. I'll show you. Hopefully, this will work. And um, we can have a little look at the the mold as well as um, the crushed ice effect. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so nervous. All right. Are you ready? Let's do this. Yes. Look at that. Wow. Could have done with an extra couple of little crackles in here. I don't know if that means that I've like too much white. I don't know. Okay, but look at the mould, you guys. Still a bit soft on the edges. Now, I'm going to hold it up to the side like this so that you can get like a side view. Did pretty good, actually, with the um, not having too many bubbles there. So this area here is lower. Can you see? It's, uh, it's actually, this is lower down. And... Uh, these quartz, that I'm calling it a quartz mold. They look like quartz crystals encrusted around the edge of this smooth area here. So you can still got, you can still put your cup there. And um, yeah, it's, it's just a little bit different. You've just got that, um, that lower area there. So there you go. Let me know what you think of it. Um, I will link it for you down in the description. This is the quartz geode mold. I've also got a heart and an oval. Um, if they're not up yet, they will be soon. I'm still working on them. So there you go. Probably, I don't know, maybe I didn't have quite enough enough white. I'm not sure because I've got yeah missing a few little crackles there. Oh, it's so pretty though. All right, um, let's go for a little walk. A little walk with it and uh, have a look away from those those bright lights come up here there we go I'll see if I can show you the edges there it's pretty cool hey something a bit different Try not to drop it. <laughs> I'm trying to turn it around with one hand so you can see that. Yeah, the um, the crystal edges are are raised along the along the outside there. So yeah, love it. <gasps> so happy with it. Love the mold. Happy with the mold. Could have done with a few more little crackles in the middle, but hey. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Hope you like this mold. It's a very sort of natural looking asymmetrical geode shape. So not your usual just round like some of my others. I've tried to go a little bit more abstract with it. So let me know what you think of it. So uh, yeah, very excited. Um, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all again real soon for the next one. Take care. Bye for now.